Okay guys, so I started making a video um, about this uh, this council tool double double bit axe uh, and uh, and then and then I had kind of a weird thing happen. Um, the uh, the axe head started slipping off and I'd say it slipped down all of an eighth of an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch. And uh, and so I, I popped this head off and it it got me um, I don't know all interested in talking about these aluminum wedges here. Um, Council Tool uses these aluminum wedges in their standard, my understanding is their standard line of axes. Uh, and their standard line of axes is made out of 1060 steel. And uh, and I really took this double bit out and, and put it through its paces. And I was gonna do more, but then the head started to loosen. But uh, I would say this axe passed my test, at least with flying colors. I was hacking through pine knots and, you know, it was just throwing off chips. Uh, I was very pleased with it, very pleased with it. Uh, but but the one kind of fly in the ointment, the one hiccup here is this aluminum wedge. Um, every aluminum wedge that I have, uh, that I have received, every ax hung with an aluminum wedge has, has come loose with the exception of this uh, this little miner's axe right here. This is this is a full size Dayton on a short handle. I love it for firewood processing. This is great. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, I could even see somebody taking this uh, this axe head and putting it on a slightly longer handle, and then I think you've got a great camp axe. It's not a whole lot of extra weight, and of course, if you're an ultralight packer or camper, I mean, you wouldn't want to do it. But for somebody like me, you know, um, this this is a great axe. My, now, my theory on why all of these aluminum wedges come loose is they all are hung overlapping the eye one way or the other. Um, and it, it usually is one way or the other. It's not both. Uh, and what this does, you can see it mushroomed on top there. I think what that does is it prevents the wedge from getting full compression onto the, uh, on, onto the hang. Uh, and so, so you don't, end up getting as tight a fit as you want to because your your wedge gets hung up now that doesn't happen with a wood wedge because the wood will actually shave off on the axe eye as you pound it down so the the uh the wood if you're using especially a nice good quality wedge it will kind of it it will fit itself Whereas the aluminum, it, it is so malleable that it actually compresses and mushrooms. Okay, so that, that's reason number one in my mind. None of this is scientific. This is just me. Um, the, the second reason is you look at how short this is, how short it is and how thin it is. This is a trooper wedge, and I don't love these trooper wedges. But if you compare the two... This trooper wedge is a full, probably 30% taller than this wedge. And my guess is double the thickness. Um, for some axes, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, but here, I'll, I'll show you why it is a problem with this double bit. And I'm going to speak as narrowly as I possibly can, because I'm talking about this axe in this particular instance. And if you love aluminum wedges... I'm not trying to yuck anybody's yum here. I'm talking about my experience, my thoughts, uh, and and the evidence that I have observed firsthand. So <clears throat> in order to get a nice, secure fit, in order to compress the wedge and the handle into the head as much as you need it to be compressed to be secure, that wedge needs to go two-thirds into the axe head. Uh, that, is the, that is the gold standard. Now, uh, I'm going to get a better tape measure than that. Okay. All right. So, if you can see that, that's three inches. So, um, I'm not a mathematician, <laughs> but, but if you need something to go two-thirds of the way into a three-inch tall axe head, you need it to go two inches into the axe head. Um... This wedge is, let's see, what would that be? That is an inch and, 
uh, what is that? Is that on the three, four, five? That is an inch and five sixteenths. It's, it's kind of a, I'm going to say inch and five sixteenths. You know, if you wanted to be a little charitable, now nah, inch and five sixteenths on the dot. That's what I'm going to say. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So an inch and, and five sixteenths does not get you obviously, uh, two inches into the ax head. Uh, so, so you, you have just a, a problem with this, th this is too short. I don't believe it, uh, it penetrates deep enough into the ax handle to spread the kerf out and get that mechanically tight fit that you want. Uh, the, you know, the second thing I mentioned is it's very, very thin comparatively speaking. Um, I don't think these trooper wedges are, are bad. You know, they're poplar. I like poplar a lot, but when I cut my wedges, I cut them like this. You know, I, I make my own wedges, you know, and if you compare the two, I mean, you can see the obvious difference, uh, but both in thickness and in height. Um, so I cut mine thick and, you know, compare my wedges to this aluminum wedge. And that's the main wedge. There's a big difference in thickness. Uh, so I'll just, for, you know, keeping things consistent, I'll just go based off of this trooper. Uh, that's, you know, we'll call it 10.4 millimeters or 10.39. 10.39 millimeters. Um, you know, whereas if you have this aluminum wedge here, and I'm going to find a spot that hasn't been, there we go. 6.59. I mean, so we're talking about 40% thicker for, for the trooper wedge. Um, you know, and, and so, so th it's interesting to me why, uh, an aluminum, I mean, if, if, if someone's going to use an aluminum wedge, it seems to me that you could make it thicker and taller and solve a lot of your problems, and make it safer. Um, I mean, even a wood wedge is going to be taller and thicker. Um, you know, and I was thinking about this, is it price? you know, wood is, is much cheaper than aluminum. Um, you know, I imagine you could, you could source out yellow poplar wedges and, and they do, um, at the factory a lot cheaper than aluminum. Aluminum is as a commodity, far more expensive than, um, than wood. So I, I, I don't understand why it's used. Um, you know, for, for all of you centigrade guys, um, you know, I can convert this to Celsius for you. <laughs> um, and I actually already did, but here, you know, cause just, I don't know, just, just hearing things in your native tongue, I think does make a difference. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, so the ax head is 70, uh, what is that? Yeah. 75. And it's moving a little bit, you know, we'll call it 75 and three quarter. So 75.77. Okay, so let's just say for the sake of, you know, uh, simplicity that if you have a 75.77 millimeter tall ax head, what do you need to be two thirds? You need it to be 50 millimeters tall. And this wedge here is 33. You know, and, and so you're, you're, unfortunately, you're not getting two thirds of the ax head, whether you speak Celsius or Fahrenheit. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm being dumb. I know that. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, so I, I think that if you do get the chance uh, to purchase one of these, um, one of these axes uh, with an aluminum wedge, I think they come at a great price. And I think the steel and the handles are good enough that uh, it's not a big deal to pop off the head, throw in a wood wedge, and you're still miles ahead in terms of value where you would be if you would have spent, you know, $150, $250 on, uh, on an X. Um, it just takes a little bit of know-how, a little bit of capability, and a little bit of willingness to learn. None of this is, none of this is overly complicated. Um, but, you know, that's just my thoughts on these aluminum wedges. You know, just in summary, they're very thin, they're very short, um, and I, I just, I don't believe that uh, they give enough compression 
and security in these axe in these axe heads to uh to, to trust your life with it or you know honestly as a lumberjack you're not really in danger yourself i mean i say lumberjack but as as as, as somebody who uses axes um you're not in danger yourself from an axe flying off the handle as much as you are the person next to you you know for me that's my family um that's why if I'm ever in the yard anywhere, I don't care how light a task I'm doing with an ax, my kids, my wife, my neighbors, my animals are never in front of me as much as I can help it. Um, and so just be safe, be smart. Um, watch my videos on taking out these aluminum wedges. I do think it's important. Uh, you, can, you can replace, you know, and this is kind of light, medium, heavy duty here. You can replace one of these aluminum wedges with a good solid wedge, go to Whiskey River, get a good piece of wood from your lumber pile, uh, square it up, cut your own wedges, um, whatever you have to do, get a good wedge, throw it in your ax head and make sure that you have a safe and secure fit.